A local nonprofit will provide leadership, direction, and integrated resource management for quality services that support their vision of success for children. Coming up on Polk Place, we will hear about a family fun day, so make sure you stick around. Welcome to Polk Place, I'm Brian Lacey, and joining me from the Early Learning Coalition, Debbie Burdett, welcome to the show. Thank you, Brian. Should I say welcome back? Sure. Welcome, welcome back, however that Always works, right? fun to be here. Yes. Always fun to yes. have you. Yep. Looking forward to it. Hey, I'm not sucking up or anything, but you are one of my top 100 favorite guests. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to know I'm on that list. <laughs> You're in the top two. <laughs> How you doing, Deb? Very good. Yeah. All is well. Yeah. So for those that might not know, give me a brief description of what the Early Learning Coalition is and, and the difference that you make in this community. Wow, we make a big difference because we serve about 12,000 children every single day through the child care providers, child care centers that the Early Learning Coalition help fund. So our, our goal is to make sure that we um, have all, all little ones ready for school, kindergarten ready ready to succeed and just plant the, get them the foundation for them, you know, so that uh, they'll, they'll move through Put school. them on the right track. They'll become productive <laughs> citizens one day, taking our, our spots right here. Yeah, so, exactly. Somebody take my So <laughs> you, if you're going to invest, invest in our children. So the Early Learning Coalition serves children birth to five years old through the child care providers that we work with, about 350 different uh, child care providers throughout the county. I've had the pleasure of going out to a couple of your different sites. You sure And have. the one word that I can describe on every site, fun. Fun, exactly <laughs> right. I'm a grown man out there and the little kids have me playing with dinosaurs, have me playing <laughs> with cars, have me doing everything. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I think, I think when kids can learn in that environment, they enjoy knowing they're going to school. Now, the reason that we're here is you guys have, as we heard about it, a family fun day. You guys are going to be honoring some uh, some special people, going to yes. be having fun, as you say. But talk to me a little bit about the family fun day. When is it? What is it? Okay. Well, last year, uh, you know, we were all still trying to come out from the COVID shutdown. And our CEO thought, you know what? School just got out. Let's do something fun around here. Let's bring our people back you know, to a place where we can just have a few hours to enjoy being outside. He cooked hot dogs for everybody. It was free to the public. And we really focused that last year on celebrating our community heroes for getting us through that pandemic. So we we had the sheriff's office out there. We had the fire department, the police department, canine demonstrations. We had um, storytelling going on. We had a magician there, face painting, everything you could think of to make people smile again and bring families back outside and just enjoy the day. So that was such a hit. We had over uh, probably around 300 people last summer uh, and we decided to do it again. So we're putting up a big tent in the parking uh, lot, uh, you know, where our building is downtown Lakeland, putting up a big tent. All the vendors will come in uh, we'll be serving up free food, hot dogs, popcorn, you just name it, um, and we'll have a good time. One of the things that you touched on, you know, we talk about, we talk about the, the heroes during the pandemic. They, they were our first responders. Yes. They were the people on the front lines medically. Um, a little known person that was very important to the success of making it through that was your child care workers because each one of those people that were fighting that pandemic needed to have a safe place exactly. for their children to go. Uh, talk to me about the role that you guys played in the pandemic of, of taking care of the children of the heroes. Yes, we sure did. We made sure actually that those essential workers had a place to take those little ones so that they could go and, and provide the services that we all desperately needed, especially when it come to health care. So, it, you know, the Early Learning Coalition stepped up big time and worked with 
our providers to make sure that we could get um, safe places for those children and not just a, not to be babysat but to learn so we worked we worked extra hard uh, with with the providers making sure that we could take additional children and and provide the the quality care they needed to to thrive and to get get through the pandemic it was tough and this year that kind of led us to the theme of this year I looked around you know we were visiting a child care center um, doing some storytelling had Miss Lakeland there I looked around and I thought you know here we are two years through that pandemic and we're strong that's where we just I, I talked to my friend in our marketing department and I said you know what what do you think about America strong even though we've been through a lot the whole world's been through a lot so we kind of themed this year around that America strong as we said we mentioned the stars on the flag they're going to be stars coming out there you know local celebrities we've got Miss Lakeland we've got some of the teachers and we've got our first responders talk about the role that they'll be playing our, our first responders will be doing things like canine demonstrations the police department will bring the canine unit out and the kids that was a hit with not just the children last year but the moms and dads as well so we're having those folks back the Polk County Sheriff's Office is going to bring an airboat we're going to make sure children understand boat safety but you know just kind of for a kid to get to stand by the the airboat last year they had the swamp buggy out swamp there. buggy yeah it was always fun too. A big, they love that a fan favorite yes um lakeland regional will be there uh fitting children for bicycle helmets and the kids will get a free helmet so that's again we're all about education trying to teach so you know the kids will and the parents mm -hmm. will learn a little more about that um there will be uh storytelling going on again and Miss Lakeland she she uh, ran for Miss Lakeland and her um, she, she was all about uh, literacy yep, her platform yeah her platform was all about literacy so she's gonna come wear her crown photo ops but also be sharing books with the kids so we thought that would kind of be extra special and we actually are working now with some new things that I don't have confirmed just yet, but it'll be a surprise and it'll just add to the overall day of the event. <laughs> we got about 30 <laughs> seconds left, Debbie. Do me a favor, give us a, give us a date, times, and how folks can find out more about the ELC Family Fun Day. Okay, so the day again is June 4th from nine to one o'clock there at our Lakeland office located on Missouri Ave. You can certainly go to our website and um, all the details about the events right there. So. It's free, you know, there's gonna be lots of free food. There'll be all kind of free gifts for the kids to take back home with them. And uh, I just, I'm sure it's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna bring the stage back up, turn on some music, and the kids can dance with those police officers and firemen, so that's always fun. Um, and then the icing on the cake is our, for our providers. We are going to have our CEO, pull some kids on stage with him, and they have a very special song to sing, I Love My Teacher. So it's going to be extra special. Looking forward to it, Debbie. Yep, us Thank too. you, and come in and see me again, will you please? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. The Early Learning Coalition of Polk County invites you to their Family Fun Day Saturday, June 4th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event is free and is held at their facility at 115 Missouri Avenue in Lakeland. We'll feature community partners, displays such as the Polk County Sheriff's Office Airboat, Lakeland Police Department's Canine Demonstration, United States Postal Service, just to name a few. Now, there will also be free food, face painting, train rides, balloon art. Now, if you need more information, look them up on the web at elcpolk.org or give them a call, 863-577-2450.